Yo, what is up guys, JD Zero, and I am here today with our lovely guest, Chaotic Devs and CJ. We're gonna be doing the the mysterious multiverse and all the topics within that multiverse title. And also happy new year's guys. Yeah, happy new year. Um so first thing I wanna get off my chest because there's it's been this whole thing where we have real people, scientists, people who talked about the multiverse and the concept of everything exists at the same time because we're not just the one universe and everything just simultaneously been created at the same time uh right which is kind of kind of weird but it it is what it is it's it's a big bang type theory in a way where everything has been technically been created at the same time um so here's my thing even though everything is created maybe at the same time we don't know that for sure and we don't know if we uh create ideas to create multiverse in a way and what i mean by that is like oh if you do one thing the opposite happens and then creates that version of the multiverse um, yeah po yeah we've seen pokemon jump this boundary too many times <laughs> and we have uh, the Flash. We have other shows and TV series that kind of go off that path of the multiverse being a oh. thing, and we do one thing, the opposite happens. Uh, we do. One I've also thing, seen so many fan thing happens, but in a different version of ourselves. So, yeah, yeah, I've seen this happen way so many times on people's fan videos as well. So mm -hmm. it's been possibly proven a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then here's the other thing. Also, since it's an ideal thing, there's also the fact that there's shows, there's movies, there's the universe within said shows or movies. So would that be another multiverse itself in a way? Because we grab these ideas these could be actual things within another multiverse which is, that is another thing which is kind of crazy to think about because we get these ideas from a different universe or a different multiverse we don't know that. yeah at some point yeah and at some point things get made in different ways we just don't know how that we just don't know how in different worlds yeah so, yeah and it's just like okay well what if pokemon is real in another universe and we created this game based off that universe or we created the show based off this universe there's probably actual universe exactly like that and we just somehow grabbed it from our dreams or what are our ideas it just came to us from another universe Somehow um our minds just cross paths with that universe yeah so which is again where it's like okay if everything was already technically created it's not we're not able to be like oh we technically have this idea and we made this idea happen there's an actual universe already like that. Yeah. And then there's the fact of, okay, if God did have an idea, God had this idea to create the universe. But what if God is not technically a God? And what if we're actual ideas of another entity that created another version of him to create a version of others who end up creating their versions of ideas and so far and so far and since there's the whole 
what Ken's first chicken or the egg, we don't know. Because it's been so polluted. There's been so many ideas that got mixed in. We don't know what's Ken's first. The chicken or the, or the egg. Uh... That's the problem with timelines. There's so much going on. You don't know. And that's the paradox. Yep. Which is a very well. Very if you really thing. think, if you really think about it from an evolutionary standpoint, it was the egg. Yeah, it could be just the egg, but you don't know that. That's the problem. No, you could say it's the egg. You could scientifically say it's the egg, but again, you don't know. Because again, here's the idea. You go in time and you could change how that works. And then therefore create this paradox of what really came first. You could just put a chicken in, in its place and they say, oh, the chicken came first. You could say the same thing for the egg. You just really wouldn't know because it's such a, a polluted timeline. You don't know which came first. Yes, you could say the yeah. egg, but you don't know if it's the egg. It's so polluted where it's like, yeah, it's it could be the chicken. It could be the egg. We don't know. Scientifically, yes, it will be an egg because apparently the egg hatches and therefore chicken. But that's the whole problem with creation. We don't know what came first. So, yeah, cause problems. So here's another thing. Here's the uh, a situation like if if a uh, if a child comes to the point where he meets a spot in a temporal time zone where he's able to go travel back through time, meets with set other person, have that child grow up and married to this other person and then had a child but this kid who came in the who was in the present day saw his uh, future child as a teenager or as an adult but realizing seeing himself as said adult as well being the parent of his child which really came first you won't know you just created a paradox situation where which really came first did he even have a father at that point you don't even know because it's like bootstrap paradox it's weird right Cause it's like oh I go to the past, have a child in the future, but is he really the father? Because he's still yeah, you're, you're, here you're, in the present. You're, you're, what you're describing is a bootstrap paradox. Yeah. So. It's, okay. Common example, the most common example for your audience anyways for a bootstrap paradox would be the song of storms mm -hmm. so this is what i'm you about. learn it as an adult mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah that's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, like I think it you learn it as a child. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's where I'm trying to get at. It's like, okay, you wouldn't know if there's an actual an egg that came first. It's probably the trap paradox. It's a yeah. Because you could create something and say, oh, yes, you did this. But did you really do this? And you had some manipulation that from another timeline 
or someone who somehow came through the past to fix the timeline so that you don't even know at this point yep. what came first. Yep. yep. And that's why I was like, okay, yes, you could say the egg came first, but did the egg really come first or did the chicken come first? You would never know unless you went back and saw it yourself. Yeah. And if you really want because somebody that, could it could have and if you were trying to fix the timeline where it's the actual timeline the true timeline then you would do such as leave everything as it is and let it process itself through yep and because way, somebody could have just went yeah. That? No, go ahead. You good? Well, because I was watching a show on Netflix called Dark, and they were going off of that situation. And I was the bootstrap like, paradox. Yeah, they were just pretty much going off of that, and then end up going into oh, here's my version of the timeline, and then compared to the version of your timeline that keeps looping. And oh, wow. if, you, if you actually let it go as how it's supposed to go without uh, fixing it or having someone travel back in time to become set uh, a father in that yeah. timeline, then you're basically changing the timeline how it's supposed to go and how it's supposed to run because you're just looping yourself in this endless loop where you're the yeah. father you're the son and then you're somehow mixed in between other people's timeline where they're also related to you and so far and so far yep. but if you just let this the is... timeline go through <laughs> as is how it was originally supposed to be planned you won't be in this situation yeah. But then you want to exist because you decided to fix the timeline. But there is that whole thing where there is a loophole, which I don't know how that works because that made no sense. Apparently, there is a loophole to it where you could exist without being existing in the timeline, which makes no sense. And it really. I agree. Me. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah like like once you corrected the timeline that's it you you're supposed to not exist but then you have the fact that there's a person who exists within the timeline that doesn't technically exist but somehow he exists because he's a paradox again problem with paradox people they exist <laughs> outside of time which kind of makes you wonder if if that person is now technically considered a god because he exists without being in that timeline because he doesn't exist which it, it's like oh you know gods don't exist and then here's a person who exists but doesn't exist in the timeline does that make him god kind of makes you wonder Kind of makes you want to know. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, like, he doesn't show, like, he has powers of God. He just, like, he, this person exists and doesn't exist within a timeline. He's basically like a ghost at this point. But you can see him. He can see you. He can interact with you. But no one technically knows who you are. Some may do, but they don't. But they just have a feeling like they know you. Which is, again, it's kind of weird to be in that situation. But yeah, that's what I got from that, that particular show on Netflix called Dark. Was like, it's kind of mind blowing how the how timeline, how the timeline works in multiverse 
theories and stuff like that where it's like oh you could exist but you can't exist if you change this you should not exist but then if you look at how every other multiverse theory has been and then knowing the fact that paradox is a thing and you becoming said paradox hell even the reverse flash is the same thing it's like after you kill the one person that supposed to give birth to the reverse flash and so he doesn't exist then neither the reverse flash should exist but here he is paradoxing himself where he exists between timelines because he just exists you know because he found the way to exist in between timelines and i forgot exactly how that went with with uh with the flash it's like how do you exist when you already died within that version of the timeline but i guess since he yeah since i guess the way it's like oh if you're technically an idea that you was here technically you exist if you had some like i guess you know it's more like okay if you made a uh of relevance in the timeline where you made some type of importance within that timeline you exist regardless it's supposed to be meant to happen therefore you exist regardless um saying like there's an absolute timeline where you have to end up the way you are within that timeline and that's why you exist in that timeline uh mm -hmm. saying like the situation with i don't know if you guys saw the what if series from uh from uh i've seen that with marvel um Hi. I have. Okay. So the whole Doctor Strange thing where it's like he tries to save the love of his life and he well basically he's trying to go to a party with his love, right? And he ends up uh his his love ends up dying and he ends up either losing his hands or not losing his hands. And he could go in time, back in time to fix the issue, or just leave the timeline how it is. He goes back in time, tries to fix the issue, and it still ends up her dying. He tries it again, he keeps doing it over and over, he keeps repeating it, trying to somehow change that timeline so she doesn't die, and yet she still dies. And that's an absolute timeline. You can't change what's already been set for that person. That's her time. That's what needs to happen. That time is supposed to help that person become the person that they are in that timeline. You can't change how it is. No matter how you want to. Which is a problem for people who want to change the timeline. <laughs> So stuff like that doesn't happen. But if it's an absolute timeline, they're meant to go out the way they're going out. You can't change it. You can't fix it. It's just how it is. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, oh, so there are timelines that are meant to be exactly how it's supposed to go. It sucks, but it is what it is. And you have to yep. accept that eventually that the timeline is meant to be this way. You're meant to lose this person. Because they're just destined. And that's also giving us to the fact that do we have free will or do we not? Uh, and our ideas do our ideas create this universe where they think they have free will or not. Uh, that's the whole situation with our God. Does our God create the idea that we think we have free will when we really truly don't? If we're already preset time and we're supposed to do what we're supposed to do as such. 
like everything is already set in stone at the end of the day you could change it but i'm pretty sure it's already set in stone how the how you change it everything's already pre-written so you do one yeah. thing it's already pre-written for you to do it so that's like saying do we really truly have free will at that point if everything's already pre-written for us which is again kind of annoying but it might be the hard fact that we don't have free will to do what we want everything is already preset like this podcast it's probably we, may, we might think we have free will on this podcast but we probably don't we probably really don't which is weird It's like we're not being yeah, forced, but we just don't know that it is. So that's what I'm trying to get here and try to understand or try to have you guys understand, have everyone to understand. Like, because a lot of people believe that we have free will, we're able to make our own choice, and it might not be that way. It just might not. It really might not be that way. Which is very unfortunate. Mm. So what do you think about that? So do you think we oh. have free will? I will say it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. It's. Uh, you made my brain hurt, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, this is this is this is this is what we do. We, we gotta make a self thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we do to a certain degree. Again, yeah. We might think to a certain degree. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> we might think we have free will to a certain degree. But do we really to a certain degree? It's the idea that we do. Because that person created that idea that entity that had created the universe itself gave us that idea that we might technically have free will but do we really have that free will because it's an idea and that we create ideas ourselves to creating other multiverses and other universes that might have that free will but do they really have that free will? We don't know. Who's to say? We don't even think our creator has an idea <laughs> or know that if we technically have the idea of free will. Because he can't probably look in on us while we can't look up on our versions of ourselves and see if they have free will either. Because he's probably a version of us, which is we are a version of our other universes that we created it's we just don't know it's so convoluted <laughs> we just don't know which is so so it's it's annoying where it's like again do we have free will i i don't know i don't know We might think we have it, and that's that that big word. We might think we have free will, but we probably don't. We probably don't. I don't know if probably is another big word. I it's it's I think there we pro it's it's the we think is the word, and then probably 
probably it could be a thing. <laughs> but we just really truly don't know at this point. Or just probably just destined to be. Because that's how the creator yeah. created us. And that's how we probably created our other multiverse errors. It's just how it is. It's going back to like, oh, we do one thing. We thought of something and therefore it's created. And therefore it's already exists within that universe. <laughs> and here we are. Did we create or did it or is it already created? We don't know. It's an yeah. idea, but we just don't know. Uh, it's crazy. It's it's really crazy how we got to that point where we really don't know if everything's already existed or don't exist. But then it's like how certain shows show exactly how it might may or may not work and what shows like that shows us oh yeah this is possible oh but yeah this is possible but do we have free will at that point if it's possible if this exists does this if this really does exist do we really have free will Probably not. If things are meant to happen the way they're supposed to happen, do we truly have free will at that point? Probably not. And that's a concern for a lot of people. It's like, do we really have free will at that point? If everything is meant to be the way it's meant to be, if we're creating other multiverse worlds, or multiverse worlds that are already technically created for us because we created it and we and it exists within that timeline because then again it goes back to the fact that oh I'm going in back into the timeline to create my future son that doesn't exist I'm creating a universe where he exists while there was another universe where he didn't exist at that point and it's like and then you get this whole loop of him being created and it repeats itself sure there is a future timeline afterwards but the time the t the future timeline is not a good timeline it's pretty much a bad timeline because sometimes something like this interfering with that past could create a very very bad timeline and you don't know that until you experience the future timeline and then once you experience the future timeline you want to change that timeline to the correct timeline but if you do do that it makes you not exist in the timeline but then once you do that you try to figure out how to exist within the timeline without having to be existing in set timeline you're creating yourself being a paradox person that exists outside that timeline but exists in the timeline regardless which again brain brain just goes <laughs> brain go uh, for... oh man there could be a Looney Tune universe and we don't even know that would be awesome but we just created it <laughs> but we just don't know <laughs> Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, oh, 
Say if you wanted to make your original character, there is now set original character already being created. There is someone who goes by the JD Zero in that original timeline in his existing universe. And he is like a half Saiyan or, you know, part of one of the ninjas from Naruto, right? And he's just like donning like a very powerful aura about it, right? And he lives in the Pokemon universe as well. There's a universe that's like that. A multiverse that's exactly like that because I had thought of the idea but how is that idea truly mine in a way when there's probably an actual universe exactly made like that we, we just don't know anything could happen at that point anything could exist at that point are we in a they all, one of those what's the word a uh, simulation we don't know we just don't know <laughs> uh did yeah did 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 our human cells fucked up the future and this is all a simulation from the gecko we don't know we don't know are we in the matrix i we don't know and there's another thing because also that also applies to the matrix in a way it's like if there's a glitch here that shouldn't have been here oh no <laughs> oh no deja vu deja vu <laughs> and that's the whole thing because that's also has been explained in a uh situation like that like oh what if your past self interacted with your future self and saw that and they were like oh wait are we in a loop deja vu right well here we are <laughs> something must have happened within the timeline apparently that we saw this we saw this all right our minds are trying to catch up to the present of we saw this it happened before we're in a loop Deja vu is happening. Why is deja vu? Deja vu should not happen. Something like this should not exist. And yet it exists. So do we have free will? If something like this already happened. Because of deja vu. That whole concept of deja vu is so annoying. Because now it also makes it seem like we don't have free will. Because we already gone through something. And it's just like, wait. This already happened? No. This can't be. Did this really happen? Deja vu? Oh, fuck. We're in a loop. We're in a goddamn loop. I think you're just digging yourself a deep hole now. We're in a loop. If we had a deja vu of something already happening, then this must have already happened. God damn it. We're in a fucking loop. We're, we're, we don't have free will. At this point, we don't have free will. I feel like they should have called it a quit after that. Like, oh, something already happened. Deja vu. Oh, fuck. We're, we're not. We don't have free will. We don't. We, we just don't. If something like this already happened, we don't have free will. That's that just states that we don't have free will if something already happens and we saw this before. Like, how? How can anyone say we have free will at that point? We don't. We really don't. There's a reason why there's a deja vu. There's a reason why there's a definition for that. It's because someone has to have seen something. And thought of like, wait, have I already seen this? I know I haven't come across this, but this just looks familiar. This feels like this has happened already. Fuck, are we in a loop? Deja vu, oh my God. No, can that be, can that be truly happened that it just already happened. Did I already see this? 
that I, I can't predict something. I don't have that ability, but I could have swear I've seen this before. It's a deja vu. We don't have free will. We don't have free will. They already looped over. We don't have free will. It's unfortunate. That's what's going on. We don't have free will. Ah. Oh. Oh man, that's that sucks. That sucks for the human race. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, oh man, that just like it plays on the fact that we're meant to do things, and it will just loop over again. Because there are certain yeah. things that don't happen, and it hasn't happened yet. But again, if something did happen and you recognized it, oh, deja vu, it's a loop. I mean, I had that a couple of times. I really had that a couple of times where I was like, wait, I remember doing something like this. And I was like, oh, shit, deja vu, what the fuck? Did I not have the same sim similar situation? And nothing came to mind until when it happened. And I was like, don't tell me I, I'm I'm in a, a loop situation where I just happened to have this happen before in the future. And I didn't know until it looped around to it. Or just it's like, oh, that's great. That's just great. Do we have free will? Probably not. It's probably definitely not. So what do you say to that? At that end of the day, what do you say to that? If you really, truly don't have free will, if you've seen things and it feels like, oh, that's been deja vu. That's it's been a loop this whole entire time. I just say that's life. <laughs> that's the yep, matrix. That's, that's just I, life. <laughs> just life. It's that matrix lifestyle right there. I tell you what. Uh. But yeah. I swear, because again, like I said, shows like that and the true scientific fact about it, it's just like it makes sense. And therefore, do we have true free will? We just don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, any any other uh comments before we like end this podcast? Uh oh. Also, this podcast. <laughs> since we're doing this podcast and uh this will technically be a new year right this is this is 2022, 2022. right yes um, this is 2022 so since this is 2022 i'm actually gonna put this on spotify oh and Ooh. we're just gonna start this as a uh a episode one for spotify I uh, forgot what episode this is on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure once I start uh, pinning the title and everything and looked at the playlist, I know what the, the it'll probably be considered as a season two, episode one for this. Um, oh, boy. But oh, for, boy. for Spotify, it'll be uh, season one, episode one. So... Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any uh, any questions? Any uh, things you want to say before we just go ahead and end this podcast? Nope. No. Besides, my brain hurting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Well, until the next time that we do a podcast, uh, hopefully this is not too brain hurting, but <laughs> it might be. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to this podcast. Uh, thanks for enjoying our uh, insanity on Spotify and on YouTube. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and leave a like, comment, and share it with your buddies and try to go over them about is this multiverse thing true or not in a way you know the whole mystery behind the multiverse as you will see you guys bye say bye guys bye, bye. <laughs>